Happy February! Here is your weekend roundup. The OC Fair in Costa Mesa has some new visitors this weekend as nearly a hundred true to life sized animatronic dinosaurs are coming into town with the Jurassic Quest drive through. They have all been painstakingly recreated and will be moving and roaring right outside your car window. So buckle up and get ready for some prehistoric fun. For those of you familiar with the Netflix series Stranger Things, there is also a Stranger Things drive through in downtown LA happening this month. You'll be able to immerse yourself in the crazy world of Stranger Things and Hawkins, Indiana, where there will be sets from the show and some very spooky shenanigans going on. Get dressed up and head on into 1985 and hopefully not into the Upside Down. The Starlight Movie Night Drive-In is embracing the fact that it is Super Bowl weekend and they will be playing a couple of football movies. They've got Remember the Titans and Rudy playing on Friday night and then, just for fun, Spider-Man Far From Home on Saturday night. The Secret Movie Club, which shows an average of 70 movies per season in random pop-up spots around Los Angeles, will be showing a few different romance movies this weekend. The Notebook, Jerry Maguire, and for the kiddos, a double feature of Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. The Rhodium Drive-In is continuing with their Friday night flicks with the 1955 animated classic Lady and the Tramp. If you're planning on staying in this weekend, there is still lots to do. The National Theatre in London will be streaming a very silly British panto, which is like over-the-top goofy British theatre, called Dick Whittington. It's a great way to brighten up your dreary days with some just absolute over-the-top silliness. On the other side of the spectrum, the Stratford Festival from Ontario, Canada will be streaming the gripping tragedy Othello, filmed in 2019, but it will only be streaming for 36 hours this weekend. So if you want to watch it, jump on it immediately. The LA Writers Workshop Festival in Los Angeles will be streaming a reading of Kemp Power's new play, Krista McAuliffe's Eyes Were Blue, which is a haunting story about two twins who lead very different lives. One of them has dealt with racism their entire life due to their darker skin tone, whereas the other passes as white. Oof, I bet that gets intense. On Saturday night, there will be a performance of Broadway Signs at Home, which is a celebration of deaf theater, American Sign Language, and Broadway's finest. Tony-nominated deaf Broadway actors will be coming together to perform some of their favorite songs from musicals, dance numbers, as well as ASL storytelling. Now, if you have never experienced American Sign Language Theater before, I highly recommend it. It is moving and beautiful in a way that's difficult to put into words. Just check it out. The National Philharmonic is currently streaming a performance of music that celebrates home, which is something we could probably all use right now. Local composers from the DC area, as well as international composers, have come together to put on a performance that reminds us that home is where you make it, and wherever you go, there you are. The Mississippi native rock band Three Doors Down, who you may have heard on the radio over the last 20 years, is putting on a live stream to celebrate the 20th anniversary of their debut album. There will be three opportunities to stream them live from home and dive into your very own rock show right from your living room. And finally, the jam band Freeze um, McGee will be wrapped around Nashville for three nights of live streams. Should be a fun weekend. You can find the information for all of these live streamed events as well as the local events right down below or on clicksmag.com where there are dozens of other things to keep you and your family entertained all week long. I'm Piper Power with Clicks, wishing you a wonderful and safe weekend. Thanks for stopping by.